it's Chris, and this is the Flaherty Lab. Come on in. Here in the Flaherty Lab, we combine classical uh, chemical engineering techniques together with modern spectroscopic techniques and other state-of-the-art engineering methods to counter the sustainability and energy demands of a growing population. Let's take a look at one of the experiments I actually happen to be running right now. So at the moment, I'm trying to explore how the solvent structure changes as I flow a solvent over a catalyst. So this will help us inform some of our explanations of our reaction kinetics measurements that we make on analogous materials. So right here, I'm actually flowing solvent using a, a high performance liquid chromatography pump through an IR liquid flow cell, which is actually going over, the solvent is flowing over catalyst over an internal reflection element. And this allows us to further explore and spectroscopically observe changes in the solvent structure as we change reaction conditions of the system. Hi, I'm Michael. This is the Dr. Zhao lab here at the Institute for Genomic Biology. And I'm here to show you guys around the lab and also to show you a few wet lab experiments. So in this room here, we have two biosafety hoods and we also have five incubators that are responsible for growing up all of our microbes that we experiment on. This is where a lot of the cell work actually takes place for people working on yeasts and bacteria. And in the room adjacent to this, people work on mammalian cell cultures. Now I'm gonna show you guys what just an E. coli culture looks like. Hello, and welcome to the Dial Lab. My name is Azaya. I'm a second year student here at U of I. So what we do in the lab is we do solution printing of organic electronics such as Photo, organic photovoltaics, uh, flexible and transparent um, electronics, and the, our main goal is to improve the solid state properties of these devices. So today we're going to do a demo of making an organic solar cell. For the substrate, we're going to use a glass with ITO or indium tin oxide coating. So the first thing we need to do after cleaning the substrate, we're going to deposit a photoactive layer uh, using a 2D printer. So after we deposit our film, we're going to do an optical characterization using a polarized microscopy that we have in the lab. So after we do all the film characterization, we're going to deposit silver electrode on our solid cell. We can either deposit it using physical vapor deposition methods, or we can use our 3D printer developed in our lab. Hello, my name is Jesse Horn and welcome to the Shuko Lab Space. We are a molecular engineering and computational biophysics group and let's check out our lab. My focus is on machine learning and uh, going from a genetic code, so a uh, DNA or genetic code to a protein's function. So proteins are like nature's little machines and their code is from DNA. So uh, small changes in DNA or the code might have substantial effects on the protein's function. So for that, uh, we could re-engineer crops, uh, novel therapeutics, so all of that can go with uh, predicting a protein's function from its genetic code. Uh, also, I'm involved in a lot of transfer learning, so that is where you're taking uh, knowledge from a, an existing system, so you construct the model and all of that, and then you can transfer that to a similar but different system. So for example, if we wanted to re-engineer a transporter in one type of crop, we don't have to completely start from scratch when we do that for another crop. We can transfer that across uh, and save a lot of the time and labor in constructing that model. Hi, come on in. Hi, my name is Ryan Miller. I'm a third year graduate student in the Dr. Kong Research Group. Our lab specializes on the design characterization and the application of active bio-hybrid uh, matter. Our projects primarily focus on studying and addressing vascular degeneration, Alzheimer's disease, disinfection, uh, detoxification of environmental pollutants, as well as the fabrication and assembly of biological robots. Hi, I'm Joanne. I'm working on tough and stretchable hydrogels. So uh, this is our hydrogel. Unlike conventional ones, ours is really stretchable, which can um, stretch up to 10 times its original length. And um, we use it to make uh, organ mimics for surgery practice. 
We're also looking into its non-drying property and、uh, planning to use it in wearable devices and also soft robotics. Thank you for joining this、uh, video tour. Thank you all for visiting the Flirty Lab. Thanks for coming by to our lab and seeing our lab. Thanks for visiting the Jail Lab here at IGB. And that concludes our lab tour. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you on campus next semester. Thank、you